everyone welcome back to my channel now today I'll be preparing a special mango ice cream you can make ice cream at home it is simple easy and delicious and you will never have to buy store-bought ice cream again all right so today I'll be using some frozen mangoes this is about two and a half cups of frozen mangoes you can also use fresh mangoes I have also have about a three quarter cup of mango chunks. I have one cup of evaporated milk and I'll be using two, about two cups of heavy whipping cream and one can of condensed milk. I also have a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, now let's get started. First, we want to put our frozen mangoes in the blender I'm gonna add a little of the evaporated milk just to puree the mangoes a bit more of the evaporated milk just to try and soften this up a bit I'm going to blend that again. can just use your spatula all right and this is what it looks like all right, so you can just set this aside. All right, in another bowl, I'm going to be adding about two to two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream ensure that you're
looking to and it's starting to get thicker. Alright, it's not done. I'm gonna add the remaining evaporated milk to this mixture. And then I'm gonna blend it in. Just a pinch, just a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. To this, I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla, and I'm gonna blend this in. Next. I'm gonna be adding one can of sweetened condensed milk. You can use at least three quarter cups or three quarter cans. You can taste your ice cream to ensure that it's not overly sweet, as the mangoes also have um, very sweet. I'm gonna blend this for about another minute. And to incorporate the condensed milk into the mixture. gonna add our puree mangoes into the mixture All right. I'm gonna leave a little of the puree mango before and then, and then we'll just blend this also for another minute. All right, so I'm just adding the rest of the puree and we're gonna just fold it in to the mixture. All right, so you can just fold Fold it in. Just fold it into your mixture. I'm also gonna be adding in the mango chunks at this time. And you just fold it in until everything is incorporated. All right, so after you have folded in your, the rest of your mango puree and your mango chunks, now your ice cream is ready. Now, if you don't have an ice cream machine, you don't have to worry. I will be pouring this in a container, a freezer safe container. So I'm going to be pouring it in the container.
All right, now it is very important that when you're making ice cream, so before you put it in the freezer, ensure that you put some wax paper or you can add you can add some of the cling wrap the reason for doing this is that your ice cream will not become icy so you can just go ahead and add either the parchment paper or some cling wrap over the top of your ice cream now you just need to make sure that you have a lid and then you can place this in your freezer for about four to six hours or until it is completely frozen. All right, so our ice cream is ready. And remember that the freezing time may vary depending on your freezer. So this is what it should look like after it has been frozen. Now I'm gonna serve up some of this to show you what it looks like. So here is our ice cream. This is the finished product. This is what it looks like, our homemade mango ice cream. I just used two cherries on top to decorate it, but you can add nuts or whatever it is that you like to have with ice cream. This is it. Once you try this recipe, as I said before, you'll never go back to store-bought ice cream. So you can check this recipe out and we'll have more ice cream recipes in upcoming videos. So enjoy.